I'm with me, Simone. Thank you. Thank you so much. test on so that I can prove that my daughter's father is in fact her father. Any chance that anybody else could possibly be the father of this child? No. Do you think you're the father of the baby? I had rumors that she was cheating on me. She has been a compulsive liar. I was told that he had put something in a cup of coffee of mine to cause me to miscarry. Did you put anything in her cup of no, coffee? He told me that he couldn't have kids. That is not true. Then why didn't he take a lie detector test over all this? We're going to meet someone who can shed some more light on this. Destiny's sister, Heather. My sister is not telling the truth. I don't want to hear you. Oh. You are a bitch. You want me to take a lie detector test? Yes. Yes. You want the results for this DNA test? I want lie detector tests. Results for Mark. Destiny's lie detector test. The DNA results for your baby is... Welcome to the show. My first guest is Destiny. Destiny, why are you here? Um, I need your help with two things. Um, one, I need a paternity test done so that I can prove that my daughter's father is in fact her father. And two, um, I was told and confirmed that he had put something in a cup of coffee of mine to cause me to miscarry when I first found out I was pregnant. And I want to know what it was, why he did it. Okay. You're, you were involved with uh, a man? Yes. And what's his name? His name is Mark. Okay. And you have a child with him? Yes. And how old is that child? Three months old. And this is? Yes, that's my baby. That's Alyssa. Okay, so you're, you're dating Mark, right? At the time, yes. Uh, and how long were you dating for? Um, about a month and a half to two months. Did you feel like, ah, I kind of got pregnant a little fast here with this guy? Uh, yeah. I mean, um, was it a serious relationship? He made me believe so. You meet this guy, he seems nice. You, you get pregnant, you tell him, and what's his reaction to it? Um, I was lying. I'm not pregnant, it's somebody else's, and I had a friend of mine who was pregnant take the test for me. Up until the point that he didn't know you were pregnant, how was the relationship? Uh, we had split up shortly before I found out I was pregnant. Why um, did for you the most part, it was okay. Why did you split up right before you told me you were pregnant? Um, we were just having a lot of issues. And so you think that he put something in your coffee to make you miscarry? Yes. Tell the story about that. Okay. Um, when I first found out that I was pregnant, um, I had told him, and he, of course, denied it. And he called me about a half hour later and apologized and asked me to meet him for coffee so we could talk things out. He was there before me. And when I got there, my coffee was on the table. My coffee was made just the way I like it. And it was kind of cold. And I really didn't think much. I thought he was just being nice. And when I got home that night, I was sicker than the dog. And Mark called me out of the blue. How's Destiny feeling? Yeah, Destiny's feeling like crap. So after this happened, did someone else tell you that he did this, Mark did this um, to you? I was at work one day. And somebody had come up to the gas station. and looked at me and said, I have a question. Are you still pregnant? I said, yeah. Why would you ask me something like that? She says, well, Mark had put something in your coffee to cause you to miscarry. You say he's the father? Yes. Is there any chance, any chance that anybody else could possibly be the father of this child? No, there is not. So if, if he takes a DNA test and he is the father, what are you going to do? I want child support. I want him to support me to support her in some way, shape, or form. Because I'm basically working two jobs right now and I hardly get to see her. Let's bring Mark up. Hey, no, Mark. Good, how you doing, Steve? So how can you deny her? I'm Look not denying at her. at her. I'm not denying her and I'm not confirming it. I'm not denying her. I you never have been have. Den denying her from day one. No, I have not. You have. You have said she's not mine, she's somebody else's. You wouldn't even look at I pictures also of had, her. I also had confirmed rumors saying that you were still sleeping with 
every single night no. and with other people. No. Yes. No. Oh, how, would, how would those people know that she was sleeping with anybody because else? Because one was her very best friend that she talked to every single day. Do you think you're the father of the baby? Um, I, like I said, I cannot confirm or deny. I think I might be. But like I said, I want to find out 100% sure if I am or not. Now, she tells this story about she tells you she's pregnant, you want to meet for coffee, mm -hmm. she walks in, there's a cup of coffee already made for her. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, I had made it for her because she had told me she'd be there in like 20 minutes. And so I had gotten there. She had actually told me, she's like, well, I'll be there in five minutes. So I'm like, all right, I'll order you a cup of coffee. And she got there, and then we ended up talking for a while. We went back. I ended up starting feeling very sick. I was laid up on my friend's couch, and I was sitting there, and I'm like, well, I don't know if I'm the only one. So I called her up, and I'm like, how are you feeling? Because I'm feeling like crap. And she's told me Did she wasn't feeling Did he say that? Did he was well. feeling bad, too? Actually, no. He just asked me how I was feeling, and he sounded like he was fine. So I'm going to ask you straight out. Did you put anything in her cup of no, coffee? No, I did not. Nothing? Nothing at all. What if it turns out you take this DNA test? You, you've taken a DNA test, yes. right, before yes, the show? Yes, that is correct. Um, what if it comes back and you are the father? Um, I'm going to do everything I can to be there for the child. Um, we have more than everything, me and my girlfriend now. We have, she has her own house, and we have all baby supplies, uh, crib, playpen, everything. So we you have plan clothes. on taking custody of the child? Uh, half custody or full custody because what I'm trying to find out is she has two other children and she doesn't even have custody of them. They're with court-appointed guardians. We offered you to take a lie detector test. The producers have told me that you didn't want to take the lie detector test. I haven't lied about anything here. You are saying that you <laughs> Don't have your children because you don't have a driver's license? Yes. Can I see your license, man? You're doing 55 and 45. There's your tickets. Now you can't have your kids for three years. Not court appointed guardians, my appointed guardians. And I have very good reason why I don't have them. They did not get taken away from me when my husband left us. I was three months behind on rent, the gas and electric about to get shut off. Um, I got kicked out of there and I had moved into a friend of mine who the only place that I could go and it wasn't safe for us to be there, let alone my children. And so my mom had taken guardianship of my son and my cousin took my daughter. I did what was best for them because I wanted to keep them safe. Okay. And then at some point, you were able to get your own place. Yes. Did you take your children back in? I'm still trying. I've been fighting with Tennessee for three years because I don't have my license right now because Tennessee has a hold on it. Your license for what? My driver's license. It's part of the stipulation for me to get my children back. So that is the only the thing. Wait, wait, wait a second. No hold on, hold on. I don't drive. H hold on. You are saying that you <laughs> don't have your children because you don't have a driver's license? Yes. That is part of the stipulation when I had the guardianship. You don't have your child because you don't have your two children. And how old are your other two children? Six and three. Six and three. And you've been out without them for how long? About three years now. So your three-year-old is what, a boy or a girl? Little girl. Your little girl basically hasn't lived her whole life without you. Mm -hmm. Because you're telling me you don't have a driver's license. Yes, that is exactly what the Did problem you bring is. this court order stipulation you know with I you? I have moved so many times. I don't know. I didn't where ask it's you at. that. Answer the question. No, I Did don't know where Did you bring this at. court appointed stipulation with you? No. Why wouldn't you bring something like that? I don't know where it's at. How do you know it exists? It Do you you said you work two jobs, right? Pretty to support much. your child? Pretty much, yes. Do you pay any child support to those other two yes. children? I how pay much child do you pay? support to my son, $62 a month for his medical. And how about your daughter? They don't want child support from me. That is the whole they reason. They don't want child that support from you. That is the whole reason why, why they don't they want them it? in so that I could get on my feet. You got on your feet and you had another baby. Why don't you have a driver's license? Because I got caught driving up here um, shortly after I moved back from Tennessee. Um, I was on bed rest. And I what was did going you get caught driving for? Um, they got me at 55 and a 45 because I thought it was 55. Oh, there were no signs. 
And there was no signs. Yes. Okay, so and you're doing I, 55. I did not have any insurance on me. You didn't have any insurance. No. Because and my so the police was not officer working. came up. Well, let's reenact the, the scene. Because I used to be a policeman, I know how this goes. <laughs> Can I see your license, ma'am? You were doing 55 and 45. Do you have insurance? No. No insurance. No. I'm gonna have to write you a couple tickets. There's your tickets. Now you can't have your kids for three years. <laughs> <laughs> Happens all the time. <laughs> I was stuffing kids in my squad car. <laughs> Too many kids. Now. Now that we got that out of the way, why don't you tell me the truth? That is the truth. You got your kids taken away for three years because you did a 55 and a 45. They did not get taken away from me. If I could get your driver's license tomorrow, you're telling me you'll get your kids back in, like, the next yeah. day? Well, I have to file the um, termination of guardianship and wait for the court date, but yeah. And why haven't you done this yet? I don't have my license. Oh, they geez. won't give them to me. You know what? I just got to call BS. You know what? I've heard a lot of lunatic stories up on this stage, but this one's kind of way up there. <laughs> like, crazy. <laughs> we offered you to take a lie detector test, right? Yes, that is correct. About whether you put something in her coffee. Yes, that is correct. I'm kind of leaning that you didn't put anything in her coffee, but the producers have told me that you didn't want to take the lie detector test? No, I didn't because I knew she had lied about it, and that is why I just wanted to let her get caught up in her lies because she's gotten caught up on her lies so many times before with me, and that's why it's like, you know, nobody's perfect. I have lied, and I admit to them. What'd you lie about? Um, I haven't lied about anything here. I'm saying in my life I have oh, lied. we all have lied. Yes, we all have lied. But, like I said, I've also known from other people, they've told me about how she has been a compulsive liar about things. Let me ask you something, yes. Mark. Why would you be so careless with this woman to put yourself in a position that you would have a baby? Because it's possibly yours, right? Yes, it is Why possible. don't you take precautions not to have a child with the woman that you know for a month and a half? I did not know. I was, you know, like I said, everyone makes mistakes, and I made you know a what? big I, you mistake. You know what? It, you know what? You choose to make that mistake. Exactly. If you could have, have happen today, you could be the father or not be the father, which would you pick? I'd be the father. You would? Yes. Knowing that you'll have to deal with her for the rest of your life. Yes, I would, because it's not the child's fault. Exactly. All right, before we deal with the DNA or the poison, we're going to meet someone who can shed some more light on this. I want you both to leave the stage, and I'm going to bring this person out. We're going to meet someone who can shed some more light on this. Destiny's sister, Heather. The truth needs to be told. I don't want to hear you. <laughs> you are a bitch. You want me to take a lie detector test? Yeah. yeah. You want the results for this DNA test? I want lie detector tests. This is um, Destiny's sister, Heather, and she wants to shed some light on the story. Let's bring her out. How are you doing, Heather? I'm all right. How are you? I'm, I'm great. And why are you here? I'm here because the truth needs to be told. And what is the truth? The truth is not what you've already heard. Um, By who? Oh, Who's I've, not telling the truth here? I've never met Mark. I don't know anything about him. But my sister is not. She's not telling the truth. What is she lying about? She doesn't have two jobs. She does have one job. She doesn't pay child support. Not a dime. Not a dime yet. So not even for the, her oldest child, which she said she was paying $62 a month. That's what is ordered. She skipped court last Friday, and there's a warrant out for her arrest because she's never paid child support to my mother. My mother has custody of her son. Does she see him? 
Occasionally. How, how often is occasionally? A couple times a month, maybe. A couple times a month? She doesn't call him. She why, calls why, rarely. Why doesn't she? Out of sight, out of mind, I believe. What about your niece? Who has her? Not who she said has her. She said our cousin, but she farmed that one out outside of family. <coughs> that is what hurts. She farmed your niece out? I had that baby for almost six months, Steve. And my sister and I had an argument over the guardianship. I applied for guardianship. I filed a motion. We went to court, and she was all on board. We talked about this. We were all on the same page, and then she decided she didn't want me to have guardianship. If she gave me guardianship, she wouldn't get her wick or her food stamps or anything else. That is what I believe, honestly, is her reason for denying me guardianship. You called the show when you found out your sister was coming on, right? Yes. And why is it so important for you to be here? Because I want her to do what's best for her kids. That's what a mom does. Do you have a good relationship with your sister? We've never had a real good relationship. We're different people. Different how? I'm a mom. I am my son's mom. All four of my sons. I am their mother. That's what defines me. When you have a child, you are that child's mother. That's it. And you said she maybe a couple times a month sees her son. How often does she see her, sees her daughter? When the guardians of her daughter bring that girl over to my mother's house, my sister makes the effort to go to their house. How go often is that? Well, I don't think she's seen her since October, Steve. And you know what? This show called my sister and said, can you make it to two and a half hours away to get a DNA test done today? She found someone to take her down there. But she can't find a ride a half an hour away to go see her daughter. Why? Good question. And she missed court. My mom had to show up to court on Friday, and my sister didn't show up. And then my sister called my mom and blamed her for not waking her up for court, for not picking her up for court. Court's three blocks from my sister's house, not city blocks, mind you. It's not far. OK, let's, let's bring uh, Destiny back out. First off, I did not blame mom for not waking me up. I took the blame for that. I asked you mom why. You have a court date and you've completely forgot about it? I had asked my mom why she didn't call me when she was sitting up there. And How old are you? I'm 27 years old. And you have three children and mommy's got to call you to wake you Not up? Not usually, no. Not usually, only on court no, appointed dates. No, I completely dates. forgot about it. Your sister comes out and says, you're not helping your mom out. You don't see your children. Why? I call my son at least three or four times a week. I talk to him. She says you don't call at all. Yes, I do. Are you at mom's house all the time? No, you're not. Are you? Me? No, no. you're not either. I try to get out there when I can. My tags what? are expired now, so I won't drive. Oh, that long. there we go. No license. T license plates. The tags are expired. Tags are expired. Yes. I love it. I, I, I can't I, get them renewed. I, I, oh, my God. You know, it, it, it's, it's incredible to me. These are your children we're talking about. You want me to take a lie detector test? Yes. Yeah. You want the results for this DNA test? I want lie detector test. Results for Mark. Destiny's lie detector test. The DNA results for your baby is... Do you send any money to your mom to take care of your, your, your son? Right now, I really can't afford it. I'm supposed to be paying child support, yes. But you said you were paying child support. I'm you ordered said your to son... pay child support. I have to pay $100 oh, by ordered. the end of the month. You're yes. ordered to pay it. Yes. But you haven't been and paying it. And I have it. to pay it by the end of the month. But you haven't been paying it. No. It was supposed to be taken out of my check. I have filled out the paperwork to have it taken out of my check. Why didn't you just send the check? Because my money that I have goes to my rent. That's my whole check. Both if you paychecks. can't afford your two children, why are you bringing any more children into the world?
<laughs> I'm sorry, could you say that again? I said it wasn't planned. It wasn't planned? No. Well, how did it happen? He told me that he couldn't have kids. Okay. <laughs> and you said, okay. I told him I still wanted to be safe and... So you just trusted him and said, no, nah, we don't need to use anything. Because you said you don't have to have kids, right? He said he can't have kids. Well, let's, let's bring him out and let's ask Mark if he told you that. Of course he's going to say no. Mark, she said that you told her that you can't have children. That is not true. So that is a lie. What would be the point of him telling you that? Yeah. <laughs> What would be the I, I don't know. He told me over coffee. Over when coffee? They, when we first started dating, yes. He keeps going back to the coffee. Did he slip anything in your coffee that time? <laughs> no, I'm serious. But Destiny, it's your body. You know what? I don't want to hear you. Oh. You are a bitch. Oh. But I was good enough to keep your kid for six months. Destiny, I tried to help you. I have tried. You know what? I am doing my damnedest. You're not. I am doing. Yes, I am. But you missed I it. have been fighting with Tennessee for three years. Are you at my house when I call them? Are you there when I talk to them? You need to go no, there. You're, yes, I'm going to. As soon as I get my taxes in, I'm going down there to get the insurance, to get it taken care of. But it won't be able to be taken care of if you keep digging the hole deeper on How the other side. How am I side. digging the hole? By driving without a license, driving on expired tags, driving someone else's car. I haven't been driving anything. Having else's children car. that you can't take that care of, sleeping with men that lie to you. Name. Allegedly. <laughs> First of all, please tell me you didn't tell her you couldn't have kids. Hmm? I don't no. believe that. Hmm. I don't see what the point of it would be. Then why didn't he take a lie detector test over all this? Because um, exa I will take one. Yes, I oh. will. Jeez. I have no problem because I am not well, lying at all. Well, you want to know what? If this is my child, I'm going to be fighting to get him out of there because right now you have someone who you have a warrant for your arrest. And I ain't not having it. I have a warrant for my arrest. And like, you care, right? Because you have no, a because cared I'm going to get it all. Months, right? You who? said that he couldn't be a part of the child's life. I yeah. didn't say he couldn't. You did too. You said you wanted me no part of I said, the child's life. You're not going to this, be there. Who, who, no. Uh -uh. Who are you? You said who? that he. Who are you? I'm his girlfriend. Okay. And I've been talking to her this whole time when she was pregnant before she even had this child. And what was being she said? She had my number the whole time. She could have got a hold of me or Mark the whole time. She never once asked for anything. I've asked you. Do you need anything? Is it your you, responsibility? I asked you. Did I have you your ever kid? Clothes, no, I anything didn't. for this baby until, and just until we can find out if it's his or not. Because I am with him with this baby. I own my own house. We are and you're in love a drunk. with each other. And he wants to go for full custody. What, he wants I'm sorry, this baby what did you to say she is? Her <laughs> who's friends with her no, is I'm going asking about out her. with my Her, friend. what did you say about her? Yeah. What? She, she drinks from 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, <laughs> had told me that. I have my two children. I have a nine and a twelve year old, and guess what? Unlike you, they're in my custody. It's just it's yeah. nuttier and nuttier. You telling the truth about everything you said up here? I swear to God, yes. You swear to God? Yes. And you're telling the truth about everything yes, you said? Is. Really? Yes. I believe everything you said. I think you're you get it as a mother and I'm glad to see that there's actually people that come on my stage and they actually get about what it is to be a parent to be caring to be concerned I want to thank you for coming on the show you. You can, you can do it. Thank you. so you say put something in your coffee you say he said that he told you you can't have kids right yeah so my question is you you willing to take a lie detector test? Yes. And you will, we can ask you all these questions. Yes. And for you, you want to defend yourself? She's willing to take a lie detector test. I want to ask you on a lie detector. Did you tell her that you can't have kids? Did you put something in her coffee? Are you willing to take a lie detector test? Yes. Okay. You want the results for this DNA test? I want lie detector tests. So before we give you those DNA results, I want lie detector results.
So first thing in the morning, and we're going to have somebody drive you. <laughs> you're going to go and take lie detector results, bring you back on the show, read the results, and then we're going to get find out if you're the father or not. All right. You guys agree to this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> results for Mark. Destiny's lie detector test. The DNA results for your baby is... All right, it's the next day. We're back in the studio and we're with a different audience. We sent Destiny and Mark for lie detector tests this morning. We're going to read those results. Let's bring Mark and Destiny back out. <laughs> you took the lie detector test. How do you feel about I feel confident. I know I'm not lying. All right, well, let's get to those lie detector test results. All right, so you both took a lie detector test this morning. We're going to start with Mark's result. And yesterday, I said, in my heart, I believed you were not telling the truth, and I told you that I believed you were telling the truth. Results for Mark. Did you put the morning after pill in Destiny's cup of coffee? You answered no. He told the truth on that. He was asked, did you ever tell Destiny that you cannot have any kids? He answered no. Did you put anything in Destiny's cup of coffee that would cause her to have a miscarriage? And he answered no. And the results of those two questions are, he didn't tell the truth. I told you you were lying. Oh, not the only thing I put in their coffee was cream and sugar. And I told, uh, I told the guy that's at the results place because I told him I had made the cup of coffee for her. And we know you made the cup of coffee for her because yes. you told us that. Yes. But how can you fail? Did you put anything in her coffee that would cause her to miscarriage? And I did not. How about th that you told her that you could not have any children. And like I told the person, she claims that I told her that I could not have children when we first started dating so that we could sleep together. Well, did you ever tell her that you couldn't I have children? I told her one day when we were dating a while ago that I did have a doctor tell me that I had a low count and that it's possible that I could not. How come you didn't mention it yesterday on the show? Because I really didn't get a chance to. She said that the reason... You didn't get a chance to? She said that the reason why that... That's why How come we you started didn't mention sleeping. it yesterday before we gave you the lie that. detector test? I did not. Because she was telling the truth. Because at some point you told her you can't have kids. So it turns out you're a liar. You did something. You probably did put something in her coffee and she felt ill. And you did call out of the blue asking her, oh, do you feel okay? I was also And you lied to her Ill. about that you couldn't have kids. I was also feeling ill that same day. You were feeling well. ill. Probably a little guilty conscience there, huh? No. And I did make the mistake. You did that mistake? Yes, I did. So maybe you made a mistake of putting something in no, her coffee too, huh? Because no. you really didn't want to have a kid. No, I, I've been wanting to have a kid since I was 19. And like I said, you know, I'm... I want to take full responsibility for Well, why don't you have a child baby? with your girlfriend that was in the audience yesterday? Because she's unable to. You want a child so bad. Yes. But you, you're with a woman that can't have children. That's because she has two kids and I consider them my own. And how long have you been with her? I've, been, I've known her for a while and I've been living with her for the past four months. For the past four months and you consider those children yours already? Yes. And with her a month and a half and you're taking no precautions and you end up getting her pregnant? Yes, and that was my... Do you have any timeline where you think you should get to know somebody or exactly. feel that you are a, a true father? Yes, I believe what I should. What is that timeline for you? My timeline is that I should take as much time. I've made mistakes Like you did with her past. a month and a half? No. I've made my mistakes like everyone else Like is. putting something in her coffee? No. And then lying about it? No. Lying about telling her you couldn't have kids and come out here? Oh, I never said that. So you come out of here, you don't, you see, ooh, I didn't know Steve was going to give me a lie detector test. I can say whatever I want. No. 
Yeah. No, it's not the key. You didn't know that you were going to end up taking a lie detector test, right? I didn't take one yesterday. No. No. The reason why I wouldn't take one is because I knew you'd be caught up in your lies. No, but you got caught up in your and lies. That's fine. Yeah. Now knowing, you know, and you want to still lie about what you put in her coffee, but just think what you could have done to that little baby. And what if you're the father? We, could, we didn't even get to the DNA results. What if we get to those results and you are actually the father and you did something to hurt your own baby? And like I said, I did not do that because sins because of the parents why? are not sins of the child. They do not need that. What has that got to do with you putting a Well, because in her I coffee? would not try to kill my own child. Really? No, I would not. I would not. What was the point of telling her you can't have kids when you wanted kids? Because I seriously do want kids. But like I said, I was told so by the So again, tell me the logic telling her you can't have kids? I had mentioned it to her because she said she was wanting to get pregnant again. Oh, no. Okay, if that. she wanted to get pregnant again and you wanted to have kids, hmm, why would you tell her you can't have kids? Because I was telling her because she had actually taken a taken, uh, paternity test in front of me. Answer the question. The question is, she tells you, you're, according to you, mm -hmm. she wants another baby. Mm -hmm. You just sit up here and said, since I was 19 years old, I wanted a baby. Yes. Well, then why would you tell her, lie to her and say, I can't have a kid? Because, like I said, she had taken the test, and she's like, she kept saying, I'll prove you wrong. I don't understand wrong. how that makes any sense at all. Because she kept saying, I'll prove you wrong, I'll prove you wrong, that you can have a kid. So she proved you wrong. <laughs> DNA results for your baby is... Your girlfriend's been watching, yeah. and she knows now you've been lying about some things. Let's bring her out and hear okay. what she has to say. Here's Jennifer. Okay. Thanks for coming back on the show. Do you have anything you want to say to Mark? Did you put something in her coffee or not? No, I did not. I swear to God on that. You swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> I did not put anything in her coffee. I love oh, when people shoot. say, I swear to God. Like, that means anything. Yesterday, you lied on stage. You lied. Does that not disturb you as a mother that you have two children in your house and you have a guy that's standing on the stage and he lied? He passed the lie detector test about putting something in her coffee that could possibly harm a pregnant woman. Does that give you any concern at all? Yes. And how much concern does it give you? I would like another test, a little. Another I, test. I, I don't know something. I how mean, many is, would you? How many would you it, like? How accurate is this? Pretty damn accurate. Pretty damn accurate. <laughs> <laughs> you did that. No. Then how could you file a lie Because he that? he he was asked, did you put the morning after pill specifically? Did you put the morning after pill? He answered no. He passed. Did yeah. you tell Dustin you can't have kids? No. Well, well, we know what he said on the show. He said, and he said on the show, I never told her that. Well, he lied about it. And he lied about, did you put anything in Destiny's cup that will cause her to have a miscarriage? I don't know if anybody would think, oh, I'm putting uh, cream, sugar. Cream, sugar. That's going to yeah. cause, lose a baby. Right. Okay. He failed on that part. Okay. Yeah. Those two questions. So you're asking me, how many tests does he need to take? He's told me himself that he has a low sperm count, whatever. I don't care because I can't have any more children, so it doesn't affect me. But he has told me that same thing. What if he did put something in her coffee that and that would harm her baby? Would you stay with him? I don't know. You'd stay with the man that <laughs> would try to harm a pregnant woman. You'd stay with that guy. I know he didn't love her. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I just... So no, then not you can baby, try to no. kill you can try to kill no. an unborn child as long as you don't love the woman. No. No, I don't know if you I You know what? I'm done with you. Get off my stage. No. I'm always <laughs> gonna Here's a woman that I'm astounded that she'd stay with the man 
that would harm an unborn child. Ah, yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, yeah. And she has two kids walking around. But then I got to ask you, that's a woman that you'd stay with? That's her judgment? And that's a woman you love after four months and you want to be with her? She comes yeah. out and says she'd stay with the man that would harm an unborn child? Yeah, I'd stay with them. If that's I, the woman you're picking? Like I said, if I was planning Just answer on the harm. question. Yes, I would stay with her. You're a dope, too. <laughs> Destiny's lie detector test. Did Mark tell you that he could not have any kids? Well, we know the answer to that one. Did you fabricate the story that Mark put something in your coffee? You answered no. Did someone tell you that Mark put something in your coffee to cause you to have a miscarriage? You answered yes. And what w the twist is, I thought she was lying and she was telling the truth about everything. Here's the big question. Was she telling the truth about you being the father to her child? Or was she this promiscuous wild thing that you said she was? Do you want Mark to be the father? <laughs> no, not really. Do you think he's the father? Yeah. And what do you think? I think I am. Yesterday, you didn't think you were. I said I can neither confirm or deny it until I know 100% sure. <laughs> Because you but were on a I secret, do. highly classified military mission with her, right? No. I can either confirm or deny. And you asked me yesterday if I would want to be the father or not be the father, and I would want to be the father. Because you said that, you know, you want to take her away from her. I, I would go for half custody. I just want a part of my child's life if she is my child. If I want to be child. there and do the right thing and be in her life. I don't want to be someone who's not ever there and just be a liar yeah okay <laughs> well, why are you crying because he tried to kill my baby <laughs> and nobody would believe me yesterday you're right you're right I didn't that is my life and he tried to kill her <laughs> Do you have anything at all you want to say to her before we find out the results? No. No? No. Nothing? No. Nothing? Nothing. Not, I'm sorry. Even if he did apologize, it would do no justice. Do you want to say anything to him? You tried to kill my baby. No. And now you want custody? Guess what? You've got another thing coming. <laughs> I really don't know how I feel about this, but the DNA results for your baby is Mark is the father. Oh, once again, I'm not lying, and I'm not a slut that you say that I am. I never said. I said. Right. No, you I've did. Heard you did say she was, Yeah, you did say that. And you can't tell me when you were. You know, yes, I am the father, which I said I would neither confirm or deny that until I found out. You but like I said, I'm going to be a part of my daughter's life. I'm not going to be sitting you around on the sidelines. have supervised visitation, guaranteed, because I don't and trust you. And so will you. you when you don't even have custody of your two kids. You know what? I'm getting them back. I will get them back within the next Isn't couple of months. Isn't it wonderful, all the love that we bring a child into the world? Yes. We're a child of joy, and we're yelling at each other, and we're plotting and accusing. Yeah. It's such a wonderful environment that you brought a child into the world. Maybe in the future, as you go forward, maybe you take your time, really get to know somebody, really commit to somebody and say, with you, who I love, that I plan on standing by, that I will never speak ill of you, I will have a child with you. you feel proud of yourself? No. Okay. Since you've been on the show, all you've done is lie. You've tried to make her out to be, you know, some bad person which you do have your faults, 
you I'm not perfect. You, you're not perfect, but you also, nobody's perfect, but you have some crazy ways of explaining things. You do. And you need to work on getting your other two kids back. And you, the big thing you say is holding up you from getting your children back is getting a license. I am personally going to get involved with you to get your driver's license back so you have no more excuses. <laughs> So, you came on the show, you wanted to know if Mark was the father, you, you got it. You know Mark is the father. And now you know you're dealing with a guy that's, in my eyes, he's useless. He'll lie and make himself look good in any way. He goes from women to women. I wonder how long you're going to last with Jennifer. I want to know why you want to stay with Jennifer, and I want to know why Jennifer would stay with you. You get off my stage. <laughs> You need to let the courts or get a lawyer find out what his role is going to be in your life or what what his, you want him to be in your life. His parents have lawyers that they said. Well, that you know I what? I don't care. I don't care what he has, what he doesn't have. It's your thing. You need to go establish whatever legal rights he's going to have because he is the father. But for you, you need help. You do need some professional counseling, and you need help getting your driver's license. Do you want that help? Yes. Let's go. I was disappointed that he lied to me because I, at first, I was very upset when I first found out about it and I come to believe that he was being honest with me by telling me he wasn't, he never did it. He never slipped her anything in the coffee. And now to come find out, you know, he failed the lie detector on this. I mean, it's got to be true. And I mean, why did he lie to me? I, I would like to return home with, without him for right now. Destiny, well, for the most part, you know, Destiny, I think her and I have had a, you know, a decent relationship, you know, for what the circumstances were. Some of the stuff I think doesn't add up that she says. And some of the stuff she said on the show, I don't think that adds up either. And as far as I'm concerned, I have no problem with destiny. Certainly learned some things from these stories that uh, people share today on the show. What gives you the right to check her? I just feel she's cheating on me, Steve. I found text messages in her cell phone. You accuse her of sleeping with family members, though. He checks me, put his hands down my pants. I can't go to my family member without you accusing me. And you're not sleeping with family members, right? That's ridiculous. You're going to be extremely happy if she passes. I'm going to be extremely happy if she fails or passes. You're so screwed up in the mind, anything's going to make it feel better. Are you ready to find out the truth? She thinks that I've been cheating because I've been going for days at a time. You All stay out four or five me. nights in a row? Exactly. Why? So you can go have sex with somebody else? No, not at all. You found pictures in this phone. Of naked women. I think she's accusing me of cheating because she's, she's cheating. cheating. Well, they be no, you, no. Woman. you set up a video camera, right? I did. And you can't find the camera? I can't find the camera. I'm still trying to find it. I love my husband, Steven. I just, I don't know what to do. Angelica has loved John for 16 years and she swears she's been faithful to him. But John doesn't believe her. And now, Angelica says John checks her for signs of cheating every time she comes home. Take a look. I was 17 years old when I started dating John. We were young, we wasn't committed to each other. We didn't know what we want at the time. Now the years go by and, and I developed the strong things for him and I'm ready to see us being together. But if these accusations don't stop, I have to end it. John, that's uh, your girlfriend on a tape. Is, is what she says true? Yes. I, I want to, you know, if you don't mind standing up. Yes. Um, and, and it's a simple question. Even though you're in a relationship with her, 
what gives you the right to invade her private space to check her? I believe she's cheating on me. Okay. But if a policeman walked up to you on the street out of the clear blue and said, hey, I want to check you. I want to see if you got drugs, guns, and just start patting you all down, digging in your pants. You probably wouldn't like that, right? Feel violated. You would feel violated. You'd be like, I'm going to sue you, right? Well, why would you do it to supposedly to a woman you love? Um, I just feel she's cheating on me, Steve. I found text messages in her cell phone from a neighbor inviting her to a hotel. So your neighbor texted her and said? Yes. What did he say? He said, when can we get a hotel? And I read it in a text message. And his picture was in the phone connected to the text message. You believe that she would do something like that? I believe it, yes. Has I she do. ever cheated you in the past? Yes. We've both cheated on each other. You right? both cheated on each other. Yes. How long ago was that? Over two years ago. That she cheated on you? Yes. And when's the last time you cheated on her? Over two years ago. Mm. Why, why even be together if you're just both cheating on and off? I feel she's my soulmate. I love her to death. You accuse her of sleeping with family members, though. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Explain that. She's always telling me she's out with her cousins, and I always hear guys in the background. I never got to meet these people. I never met her family. There'll be periods of the day when I try You've and... been with her for 15 years? You never met her family? Well, the ones she says she's hanging out with, her cousins of cousins. I, I don't know the names. I never met them before. I'd like to meet them. You know, I never get a chance to meet them. You should have a wedding. Steve, I'm willing to have a wedding. Why would she stay with you all these years if she just doesn't want to be loyal to you? Money. You have a lot of money? Not a lot of I money. I mean, you have a job and you provide. Yeah, I have a good job. And that's why money. she stays with you? It could be. And if she passes the lie detector to that test today, will it ease your mind? It'll cure my life. It'll cure your life? It'll take all the weight off of my shoulders. A piece of paper with the result is going to change your life. Yes, because I can live my life knowing my girl is there for me. But isn't that sad that you need a piece of paper to change your life? It is. Well, let's find out. Let's bring out your girlfriend, Angelica. I'm tired of this I gotta stop, yo. You accuse me every time I go out or do something. You accuse me every time. I can't go to my family member without you accusing me. I can't go to the store without you accusing what me doing something. What about the text message from the this, neighbor? not the text message. It was a mistake. It, was, it, wasn't, my, it wasn't meant to me. With his phone, but his every, picture logged you know in with the text message? Why is you his picture on your phone? I always have pictures on my phone when people call me. That's not, that's nothing. What do you need the neighbor's picture on Yo, your phone for? John, I'm tired of the accusing. You accuse me every time. You accuse me of my family member. You accuse me of, of people that I don't even know. I can't walk down the street while you calling me and saying, oh, I'm, I'm messing around or I'm doing this. I'm just tired. I'm fed up. My kids are tired. I'm just done with this. It's just got to stop. He texts me, put his hands but, down my pants. And you're not sleeping with family members, right? That's ridiculous. You're going to be extremely happy if she passes. I'm going to be extremely happy if she fails or passes. You're so screwed up in the mind, anything's going to make it feel better. Are you ready to find out the truth? He checks me, put his hands but, down but, my pants. And you're not sleeping with family members, right? That's ridiculous. Are you cheating on him? No, I'm not cheating on him. Um, you said that he checks you, and I, I think I made a good point to him about checking you. He doesn't have the right to do that. Why is a, a woman that you let him do that? I don't know, to satisfy him. He, every time I go out, he, he checks me, put his hands but don't, on but, but don't you, like anybody, wouldn't you say, no, I want to make you feel secure and I want to love you, but... <laughs> when, he, when, you, when, he, when he's doing that to you, what emotion is running through I you? I feel disgusted, Steve. I feel like he can't trust me. He can't give me that little bit of doubt that I changed. He he's never found anything, right? He found nothing, nothing. It's, it's just that it's his security, and it just messes me up. And you, you love John. I do. And you want to be with him for the rest of your life? I do. I mean, again, 16 years, John. I love her, Steve. I want to be with her. Well, I how need, about I need... like it then? Sixteen years, you both stand up here crying. 
And, and over what? A, a, a damn text message? How, how about giving her the benefit of doubt? I mean, she stayed by your side for 16 years. Doesn't it, doesn't it earn you something, right? Some amount of trust? Some. Some, but you're not giving her any. Nothing. You're stripping her down. You don't give me the bit of a doubt that I changed. Nothing. We're you're lacking trust. I don't that's have you. no trust. That's you. That's, no you. that's all you. Me. My kids are tired here. And, and you're not sleeping with family members, I'm right? I'm not sleeping with family members, Steve. That's ridiculous. I mean, and he it's really does. It's a turn does, off. It's and, really a turn right. off. Right. I mean, and first of all, it's, it's, he doesn't even have anything that he bases on except for the fact that you go hang out with your family. I mean, come on. Are you uh, ready to find out the truth? Absolutely. Or are we doing her first, right? Oh, that's never good, John. <laughs> and if she, again, you're going to be extremely happy if she passes. You're going to be extremely happy if she fails or passes because I'll know what I can do with my life now. I can move forward and not. You'll be happy if she fails or passes because I'll know whether she. You're so screwed up in the mind. Anything's going to make it feel better. <laughs> All right, she took a lie detector test. And we asked her, since moving into your new apartment, have you watched porn with another man? She said no. Was she watching porn with a guy? I saw, I don't know what she was watching. It was on the cable bill. I, I don't watch porn with her. We've never watched porn. Where did it come from? OK, so you thought maybe she had a nice guy over and they watched a little porn? Sure. <laughs> yeah? Yes. <laughs> You and a drunken stupor didn't no. order some porn? Okay. I don't watch porn. You don't watch porn? When I was a kid, when I was a kid, I oh, did. Oh, man, did we ask him that on his lie detector test? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, John. And this goes to the audience and even my staff, okay? Men, just the men. What man in here does not look at porn occasionally? There's one guy. <laughs> so, every guy in here who's not raised his hands, many to occasionally looking at porn. You never look at it? I don't sit down to watch it. Oh, you stand up and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Since moving into your new apartment, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone besides your boyfriend, John? And you said no. The results came back. She thinks that I've been cheating because I've been going for days at a time. You oh, stay out four or five party. nights in a row? Exactly. Why? So you can go have sex with somebody else? No, not at all. You found pictures in this phone. Of naked women. Since moving in uh, into your new apartment, have you watched porn with another man? Did you watch porn with another man? No. You said no. Are you fabricating the story that you had tubes tied because you don't want to have a child with your boyfriend, John? No. No. Since moving into your new apartment, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone besides your boyfriend? No. John. You said no. The results came back all the same. And it came back that she told the truth. <laughs> I love you, I'm sorry. I hate you every day. I hate you, I hate you now and go. You couldn't take my word for it. I had to send you a piece of paper to tell you why I wasn't cheating. I told you I was tired. I have kids that they're tired. I was arguing all the time. And I'm tired. And by the way, the guy that raised his hand that you don't watch porn, I want you to take a lie detector test after the show. <laughs> So, so you feel relieved? I do. Are you happy? Absolutely. That's a great feeling, right? Oh my God, this is a great moment in my life. Will it carry on when you go home? Absolutely. Will you be able to trust her? Yes. Will you stop checking her? Yes. Now, I'm very happy for you guys. 16 years is a long time to be together. Yeah, and my kids are really tired. I was here Your kids, all the time. kids gotta be tired of fighting? Yes. Like to have a nice, stable home? Yes, we have a like nice, Like to stable. feel secure at home? Yes. John, are you going to pass this test? Yeah. Yeah? I am. Is there anything you want to say? No. You sure? 
I'm positive. Here's your chance. I made a mistake. I've been taking it on you, honey. I'm sorry. I told her everything she needs to know. Didn't like the sound of that, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We asked John. Since Angelica moved into her new apartment, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone besides your girlfriend, Angelica? He said no. Since Angel Angelica moved into her new apartment, have you ever had sexual physical contact with anyone besides your girlfriend, Angelica? He answered no. In the last year, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone besides your girlfriend, Angelica? He answered no. And they all came back the same way also. They came back that John told the truth. There's good men left. There's good men out there. All you guys thought I was lying. You all thought I was lying. I don't want to lie. I love her. I love this woman. She's been with you, John, all this time, loving you. You loving her, you're faithful too. I mean, how many times has that happened on my show where both people are telling the truth? I'm a good guy, Steve. There's good guys left. Well, but treat her with respect though, too. I hope for the sake of your relationship and for your children, I hope that you'll go home and realize what you have. I hope so. You can't get crazy. You can't start imagining things. Only see what your eyes are seeing. Don't make up things. Don't drive yourself crazy, man. That's, that's how you get in this position. That's how you end up on my show, driving yourself crazy over things that are not happening. Are you going to be able to be OK? I'm OK. But do you need some help? I don't need no help. You don't need no help? I got the help I needed. Good luck to you. Thank you. Good luck, John. I hope you make out for it. She thinks that I've been cheating because I've been going for days at a time. You All stay out four or five party. nights in a row? Exactly. Why? So you can go have sex with somebody else? No, not at all. You set up a video camera, right? I did. And you can't find the camera? I can't find the camera. I'm still trying to find it. I love my husband, Stephen. I just, I don't know what to do. She thinks that I've been cheating because I've been going for days at a time. You all stay out four or party. five nights in a row? Exactly. Why? So you can go have sex with somebody else? No, not at all. Susan is desperate to find out if her husband, Jamarlo, is having an affair. She says he takes off for days at a time and has exchanged naked pictures of himself with other women online. Jamarlo says he's been faithful to his wife and believes she is the one straying from their marriage. He's even set up a video camera in their bedroom to catch her. Take a look. Today I'm here to prove to my wife, Susie, that I've been faithful. She thinks that I've been cheating because I've been gone for days at a time. I'm only gone because I, I'm trying to get away from her constant nagging and the arguing and the fighting. I think she's accusing me of cheating because she's cheating. When I come home, she acts very suspicious and she's real fidgety. I searched the whole house to look for evidence that she's cheating on me. About a month ago, I set up a video camera in our bedroom to see if she was cheating. When I went to go check it the first time, the batteries were missing. I replaced the batteries, and when I, when I came back, you know what I mean, the whole camera was gone. I think she took the camera to cover up her tracks. These accusations have put a division between us, and we've been arguing all the time. Today, I want the truth, and I just want my best friend back, my wife. He wants his best friend back. I want my best friend back. So what is the problem? Um, we've been together for four years, married for three. Um, when he was, he got arrested and got incarcerated, and I held it down for him. I took care of him while he was in there. He got out. You took care of him while he was in jail? While he was in jail. I Were took care of him. Were you sending him file cakes, or? I wish. Um, no. <laughs> I was sending him packages okay. and making sure he had money on the phone for him to be able to call me. and. Um, 
So you waited for him and you, you did nice things for him when he was away. Yes. How long was he away for? A year and a half. Okay, that's a long time. And I was so, Steve, I was so happy when he came home because I got to touch it. I couldn't go and visit him. And I, when he got out, I was able to touch him and kiss him and hold him. And, and a lot more. And everything else, you know. And, um, a year and a half is a long time. Yeah. <laughs> and um, things about six months after that, things just started changing. And he started, it started with one night going out, two nights staying out. And you're saying staying out doesn't All come night, home? All night doesn't come home, doesn't answer his phone. And when he didn't come home, did you say, where the hell were you? Yeah. And what did he say? With his friends. And did and you say, where did you go with your friends? He won't tell me where he went. Right. You know, and it's just, I, I have a right to know. I'm his wife. You know, I love my husband. I want to be with him. He's, he's my best friend, you know, and I don't want to lose him. And if he is cheating, I don't know where this is going to go from here. Would you break up with him if he was cheating? I, I think, mean, you're married. Would you yeah. divorce him? <laughs> um, Probably. I don't, I don't I'm know. I'm guessing you wouldn't. Um, I mean, just because usually women are like, hell no, I'm not, you know, but you're like, you're wavering, I'm, so yeah, you probably, it's, he'd probably have to do a little butt kiss, and then, then he'd be right back into this. Probably, a lot has a got to a lot, because recently, um, a couple weeks ago, um, it was Valentine's Day night, and he said he was going to work, and the next morning, I'm getting texts from his phone um, saying that he can't answer his phone because he's at his girlfriend's house, and... Um, saying that so he's texting you this this is supposedly somebody that was at the house that he was at was texting me this that it wasn't him okay. but they he was the text saying he's, message, he's busy right now with his girlfriend yeah that the, they've been together for a year and that they just got done making love and that broke my heart like it felt like somebody just ripped my sure my heart out and stomped on it you found pictures in his phone in his phone what I kind found of pictures emails um of naked women him sending pictures of himself in his boxers and to other women to other women and when you found these did you confront him yeah i confronted him i was like disgusted like how could a married man disrespect and his wife what did like he that? say that oh that's none of his business i shouldn't have been going snooping in his stuff and and did you feel bad that you went through his stuff no okay good um <laughs> let's bring out your husband jamarlo is enough, man. I'm tired of this, man. No, Come on, we no, need to no, go ahead no. and get through this already, no. man. I'm tired first of this, of all, man. First of all, you don't need to be staying out all night. I Period. do need to stay Period. out all Why? night because Why? Why? Look, look what you're doing Why? right now. Look, look what, what you you're do. doing. All the theatrics. Look at the theatrics, man. Look at your theatrics. Come you on, stay out. Susie, look. I'm tired look. of this, Tomorrow, man. All we're doing is arguing. You stay out five nights in a row? Why? So you can go have sex with somebody else? No, not at all. Have you ever cheated on your wife? I have. Yes, I have. Oh, there you go. Show's over. Um, <laughs> um, I guess the more uh, appropriate question is, are you cheating on her now? Not right now, no. no. But maybe when you go back home? Never. Okay. That's my friend right there, man. That's my ace. Well, she seems very unhappy. She's, I mean, if you're not coming home, uh, spending nights completely out, no matter how bad the marriage is, don't you have an obligation to come home to your wife? We're going to have our spats, right? But all, every day, though, like, come on, can I just have a day of just peace and just loving you? No, no. but she don't take just a day. But one day, she says it's like four days. Four days? Four days? That's just me just like, man, because I'm tired of it. Like, I, I already told her, like, you didn't push me does away. Any, does anybody believe this? <laughs> and yeah. you think that she might be cheating on you? She might be. She, man, all the accusations, man, for four years, though. Like, come on, really? You, like, set, what up you... A, you set up a video camera, right? I did. And what did you get? I ain't seen it yet. I'm still trying to find it. Where is it at? Mission in action. You set up a video camera. I set up the video camera. And you can't find the camera. I can't find the camera. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. You feel me, though? Like... Where's the camera at? We asked you, while in a relationship with Jarmelo, have you ever had sexual physical contact with anyone else? You replied no. And the results came back that your wife, Susan, 
I, I did revenge. If you get to go and do what you want to do, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do what I want to do. Besides the revenge sex four times, have you had any other sexual physical contact? Um, you came here, and I guess in all fairness, we had you take a test too because he threw it out there that because you're accusing him, maybe you're the one doing the cheating. We asked you, while in a relationship with Jarmelo, have you ever had sexual physical contact with anyone else? You replied, no. While in a relationship with Jarmelo, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else? You replied, no. Since being married to Jarmelo, have you ever had sexual physical contact with anyone else? You replied, no. Since being married to Jarmelo, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else? You replied, no. One month ago, did you remove the video camera Jarmel set up in your bedroom to cover up evidence of you cheating. You replied no. And the results came back all the same to every question that your wife Susan told the truth. I'm talking about here, man. Good job, baby. You look good, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now yours. Uh, the very first page I take out of this envelope. Uh, the examinee, which is you, right, <laughs> confessed to having sexual contact and intercourse with two women during the course of their relationship. Oh. <laughs> you don't make me chase after no, you, no. woman. Cut it out. Man. Two, two. I, are you? Man. Are you serious? I already told you though. You told me one. I told you two. two. In all fairness, you probably should hear the rest of this. Um, he Cut it out, confessed man. to having sexual contact in her course with two women during the course of the relationship with Susan. He stated that since he has been married, he only had sexual contact and intercourse with one female. He says he stopped cheating on her two to three weeks ago. Accordingly, the questions were modified to accommodate his confessions. While in a relationship with Susan, have you had sexual physical contact with more than two different women? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. Oh, that's the lie. While in a relationship with Susan, have you had sexual intercourse with more than two different women? He said no. He didn't tell the truth. Since being married to Susan, have you had sexual physical contact with more than one other woman? He said no. He did not tell the truth. Since being married to Susan, have you had sexual intercourse with more than one other woman? He answered no, he did not tell the truth. On Valentine's Day, did you have any sexual physical contact with anyone besides your wife? And he said no, and he didn't tell the truth. I knew it, I knew it. You know what I'm saying? I told you, man, I already had told you this. I told you this, man. That so like I said, oh, so what are we gonna do? We gonna move You're forward? You're gonna have to gonna... change, Jamarlo. You have got to change. I, I have been nothing. I have been nothing but good to you. Susie, and, I, and I've been nothing but good, good to, to you. you too. No, you have cheating on me is not good. And I told you, I told you, you pushing me away. You pushing me away. Yeah, and, and you I've been pushing trying to me leave. Away. And then I've been trying to leave you. But what? I I've been nothing but good to you. How is he gonna change? He that has to come from within him. But it's not going to. Well, how do you know that? He, he doesn't want to change. I just, I yeah, love my husband, Stephen. I just, I don't know, you know what to but, do. Uh, but you're, are you happy right now? No, I'm not. Right. Do you think that if you leave the stage and tell him you're going to have to make some changes, that he's going to change when you get back home? No. No. And I don't mean to be offensive. But if you choose to be a doormat, you're going to get walked on. <laughs> Um, I know you love him, and I know sometimes people fall in love with the wrong guy or the wrong woman, and they stay with that person no matter what. And if you do that, you're going to be unhappy. You'll have some good moments, and you'll have some good times, but there'll be many, many nights where he doesn't come home, and he's sleeping with other women. If you're going to tolerate that, it's going to keep going on. But if you say, you know what? I can find somebody that's going to treat me decent. Decent, because you're not even getting that now. If you can get decent from a guy, you're going to be way ahead of the ball game. I'd rather be alone. So are you what really you leaving him? I'd rather be alone. What are you doing to him?
Happy if you're going to leave him, we... walk down that hallway away from him and go home That's by yourself. And if you're going to go home with him, take his hand and walk out that door. But it's I up to you. Man. I said, man. How do you, do you, you want your life to change or do you want it to be the same? I want to I wanna try to save this marriage, but if he's going to continue to do the that he's doing, I can't be that Come person. On, man. You act like I'm a straight scumbag, man. I want to know, how does this end? Are you going home with him or are you going to walk down this hallway with me and I'll get you a different flight home so you can start a new life away from him? Yours, man. Are you gonna change? Come on, man. Are you gonna the, be home? Let's get on the flight, man. Cause that's the only reason I got on the plane for anyway, man. Since you've been in a relationship with Ashley, have you had sexual intercourse with more than three other women besides Ashley? He said no. Since you've been in a relationship with Ashley, have you had sexual intercourse with more than three other women besides Ashley? He said no. When Ashley was eight months pregnant with her son, she found out that her boyfriend TJ had cheated on her. Oh. But even though she was upset, she forgave him. Well, that was two years ago, and now, Ashley believes that TJ is cheating again. Um, Ashley, why are you here? I'm here to find out if my son's father's been cheating on me. Why do you think he's cheating on you? Numerous reasons. Um, one of the main reasons is because when I was eight months pregnant, I got a Facebook message saying that this girl was pregnant with twins. So anyway, and she um, was accusing your boyfriend of getting her pregnant. Yes, okay. and uh, about right, was he sleeping with her though? Okay, he said that he only caught oral sex from her. He caught it. I mean, you know, not yeah, <laughs> he caught it. Um, he only gave, uh, he, she only gave him oral sex. Well, so that's which, not that's really... not believable. Who believes that? This is 2013. But anyways, um, so but if he did just get oral sex, that's better. No, that's okay. still cheating. That's still cheating. Yeah, it's still cheating. So anyways, um. A couple months later, I had my son. I mean, his phone's blowing up, blowing up continuously. And I'm like, what is going on? What While is you're going on? in the hospital? While I'm in the hospital bed, just had, just had my baby. So I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? So anyways, I pick up his phone, and I'm looking at it. Call me, call me. And I'm like, OK, I'm going to call you. You don't know who it is, but I'm going to call you. So I called her, and I said, um, may, I, may, I, may I help you? And she's like, well, I'm looking for TJ. And I said, well, TJ just had a baby. And you are so disrespecting me and my son. And she's like, well, I just paid TJ's phone bill. And I said, well, if TJ wants to be with you and that's all you're doing for him, why, why isn't he with you? Why is he at the hospital with me? A couple months later, um, he leaves me or whatnot. And, you know, I, I, I did revenge. I mean, you're not here. Why am I going to sit down, mope, and cry like, oh, you don't want to be with me? No, I revenge. I said, well, if you get to go and do what you want to do, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do what I want to do. And what did you want to do? Be um, be happy. You know, I have I have and a baby to take care. Happen? You know, I, I, I seen another guy. I, I you know I, I seen another guy because I didn't want to feel like oh he's laughing him? at me. Yeah, I did. I had, I had sex with him, um, and and I don't feel bad for it. I, well, you shouldn't. He left too. You have a right. Yeah, to be I mean happy. he's doing his thing, so I feel like I should do my thing. So you eventually move back in. Yes, I always take him back. <laughs> like, but now you think he's fooling around. Now I think he's doing it again, and this time I don't know about taking him back. This time. Um, just recently, on, around December, um, I had bought him a big bag of um, Sour Patches. He loves Sour Patch candy. So I bought him a big bag of Sour Patch candies. He took a picture on Instagram of the bag of candy, and underneath it, okay, now I didn't know this, because he blocks me off all his Facebook, Instagram, so Twitter, that all time? that stuff. So anyways, after he blocks me or whatnot, uh, before he blocks me, I look at it, and I'm like, uh, wh who is this girl right here? The girl going to say, ooh, that, that candy looks good. And I'm oh, like, they are Sour Patches. They're awesome. So she's like, that candy, and, and, she, and she was a pretty big girl. And I was like, OK, she might just be hungry. But anyway, <laughs> so I was like, um, he was like, um, oh, you think this looks good? Why don't you come up here to my job and taste some of these Sour, sour Patch candies? So I was like, um, so I can't even call your job. I can't go up to your job. Your boss Now, don't. this is a deep love that you have for this guy? God, I, let me tell you, I, I, I met him. He was working at the, in the kitchen at the strip. I was stripping. He was working in the kitchen at the strip club. And you I, were stripping? 
Yeah, I stripped for two years, and then he 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 walks by me, and I'm like, oh, he's so fine. Yeah, and then he walked by me, and you know, I'm I'm I, I fell in love. I don't, I never believed him. In the strip club. Yes. But not with the a guy shoving dollars down your pants. No, yeah, exactly. The one that's cooking food, like I'm a big girl. Hey, well, the one that's girls cooking gotta food. Girls got to eat, right? Hey. Everybody do you really love. love this guy? Yes, I do. You don't want him to fail the lie detector test. I don't want to if if you if know, he fails. If he does, I'm gonna I'm gonna have second thoughts about being with him. Second I'm, thoughts? Yeah. Okay. Third or fourth thoughts about. So being you with if because, he's cheating, I mean, you still continue, might stay with him. It's them. continuously and and after. So you're letting him cheat then? I, 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 maybe I am. Maybe you are. I. Yeah. Well, let's bring out TJ. Uh, today so you accuse me all the time of cheating yeah I did it like back then I was young dumb you know you what I'm saying me, but that's then that's when I first had my son I'm busting my ass I'm working that's it but other than that like come on so you love her yeah that's my baby and you're not cheating on no. her no hell no <laughs> hell no uh, are you talking to women online yeah, just to make her mad, because at the time that happened, she had did a little thing, and you know, I, I you really, left. yeah, I really ain't got the time to just do it. Right. You feel what I'm saying? To go out and cheat. I work like So you're not sharing hours. your sour patches? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, let's find out who's cheating. I know everybody's dying to know. <laughs> Big moment for you, right? If he fails, you might have to think about third and fourth chances. <laughs> TJ came here and we asked him, did you have more than oral sex with the one woman that Ashley knows about? And what do you think he answered? He said yes. He confessed to having oral and intercourse with her on several occasions. So he didn't just catch that oral sex. No. It was never it was never sexual. You said oral. You said she you never had sex with this girl. You said it was all oral. That's well, what she told me. Don't it wasn't all oral. Um, since you've been in a relationship with Ashley, have you had sexual intercourse with more than three other women besides Ashley? He said no. But he didn't tell the truth. Come on, man, don't look surprised. <laughs> but then I look at this last question. More than five other women. But he did say no. But again, he didn't tell the truth. Oh, man. You know what's going on here? And listen, this isn't the love story of the century, okay? Um, you know he's been fooling around. Obviously. You're a smart woman. Obviously. You. Oh, well, she took a lie detector test, too. Yeah. I, love, I love the opening line of your question. <laughs> Let's play. Besides the revenge sex four times. <laughs> okay. Revenge. Besides the revenge sex four times. In the past two years, have you had any other sexual, physical contact with any other men besides TJ? And you said? No. Um, you did say no. And you told the truth. <laughs> now, I, see, I can have a little fun with this, because I don't think anybody's too distraught on my stage, right? right. You're not too distraught. What I want to know is, like, when she said, who was it your idea to come here? It, yeah, I brought him to right. the show. Yes, okay. I did. So when you said, "Yeah, I'll come on and I'll take the lie detector test," how did you think like you <laughs> beat the test? Yeah, that's it what ain't I beat the test. Like this is crazy, no. But how did you think man? that you did the test? Everything crazy. Do you want to be with me? Yeah, I want to be with you, but then well. Come on, man. You don't this is crazy. Me. You don't want to be with me too. Well, but here's the deal. He don't want to be with me. He, he probably, wants to be with all the mother girls well, here, that don't do I'm, nothing I'm gonna, for I'm gonna, him. I'm going to tell you truthfully um, the way it is. 
he does want to be with you, but he also wants to be with her and her and her. And as long as you're cool with that, you guys will have a good relationship. But I'm if not you, cool with that at all. Right. And if you're not going to be cool with that, then you need to find somebody that's going to be dedicated to you. So, um, thanks for being on the show. And uh, maybe I'll stop by that strip club someday. Bam! <laughs> Do you ever see the game we play on the show? I mean, uh, Pick a door? You get to pick a door. You don't even have to tell me what your decision is. By you walking out a certain door, you're going to close the show and we're going to know what's going to happen. So you're going to go out that door and you're going to be an independent woman. You're going to go have a bunch of revenge sex. <laughs> Or you're gonna go out that door and you're gonna go be with him. And which which I think you're gonna do anyways. So be honest. If you think you're gonna go back to him with all that cheating and everything else and you know he's gonna do it some more, then you should go out that door. If you're gonna go and say, you know what, I'm gonna find somebody go else. Marijuana can cause paranoia. How much pot do you smoke? Huh? Do you cheat on? No. Are guys climbing through the window? No. I know for a fact that you cheated on me with my neighbors. He's talking to them through the walls. Y yeah, I can hear him. He'll put like little sticks under the tires of the car. He's like the stick was like this, and now it's like this. Your neighbor Mike is here. He's gonna come through this window right here. I've never seen a dude act like that before. Dan, you gotta realize you got the problem. No, I don't have the yes, problem. Yes, you do. Let's get to the results. Yeah. You were with him and pregnant when he made this tape. Yeah. Naked chicks. You want a cookie? You Balling want a cookie? Ground. See that jumper? The, there's more. I put this girl out there to make the money. She's a prostitute, people. Were you prostitute? No, I wasn't. So who's lying here? I'm going to prove that it's his child. And you said you're hoping you're not the father. Oh, God, I hope not. Took a DNA test. We're going to find out. You want to get smacked? Security. My guest Danny says he can't trust his girlfriend. He's even gone to the extremes of setting booby traps to try and catch her cheating. And there's more. The man he thinks she's cheating with is their neighbor. Take a look. I'm here today because uh, my boyfriend thinks that I've been cheating on him. He sets up booby traps for me um, because he thinks I'm sneaking out in the middle of the night. He'll put like little sticks under the tires of the car just to see if it was moved. And he says, they're not in the same spot. The car was moved and I never touched the car. He'll put our car keys in a certain way. Um, that way he'll know if they're moved or not. He's written down the mileage in the car. When I text my friends, he thinks that I have uh, secret names for the guys that I'm texting. Most nights I won't be able to sleep because he keeps me up all night long, uh, accusing me of talking to people through the walls. He thinks that my neighbor and I are messing around. Um, he thinks that the neighbor will sneak over in the middle of the night or he'll think that I message him on my cell phone. He's so obsessed with thinking that I'm cheating that he's driving himself crazy. He's been my one and only, and I've never done anything to him for him to think that I'm cheating on him. I'm stressed out all the time. I feel like I've done everything I could possibly do for him and, and prove to him that I love him. It just hurts that the person that I love the most is accusing me of cheating on him. I've proved to him hundreds of times that I've been faithful, that I love him, um, and it's just never, never good enough for him. Two and a half years is a long time to think that somebody's cheating on you. Yeah. Why are you still with her? Well, because I, I love her. You know, yeah, it's like when I'm away you know, from her, I can't, I can't be like away from her. You know, it's, it's hard on me. So, now do you put like in a in the tape, uh, you put a little stick behind her tire? Do you do things like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I've done stuff like that. I feel like she has honestly cheated on me, and I'm gonna be the one that gets hurt at the end of this, not her. When you watch that tape, and she's already hurt, right? She's hurt already that you're accusing her of this, because she says, not only haven't I cheated, you're the one and only for her. 
Well, I just, I just don't believe it, because a while ago, uh, I had a buddy living with me, you know, he was like, I came home, I seen a shirt on my floor, and, I'm, and I asked him, but I was like, do, you know, you guys doing something behind my back? And she, you know, they both said no. A day later, I go back in, in my room, and I, there's a green shirt, and imprinted on it says, you bet your sweet ass. So I was like, you know what I mean? I just put two and two together. It's like, I've never had caught in it. Her doing it, but I. The shirt says, "You bet your sweet ass." Yeah, there was no shirt in my room, and then all of a sudden, another one of his shirts. So you think somebody was sending you a message like, "You bet your sweet ass, so I'm sleeping with your girlfriend." Right. Did you ask him if he put the shirt there? Yeah, he, he don't know how it got there again. And you think she's cheating now, right? Yeah. With who? With Mike, my my neighbor. Why do you think that? Because it will be late at night, you know, I'll hear him, I'll, like, he'll, he'll type, type me on Facebook and then he'll just, won't talk to me for 15 minutes and I'll hear him outside and, you know, she's in the back, so she's talking to somebody and I hear him all the time. I mean, he, But she's in the here. house and he's outside. Huh? <laughs> no, you said, he's in the house. I'll say, I'll, 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 I'll. Yeah, but my, my walls on my, my walls on my house are thin, you know what I mean? The, you can hear, and it, it's so quiet So I'm saying, though, no, but so. your, your, your girlfriend's in the house, and he's outside. Yeah. Well, no matter how thin those walls are, they can't be having sex, right? Well, he come, no, he comes through the window when I'm, when... He comes through the window? Yes, I honestly believe that... But if that... you're coming through the window and those walls are real thin, wouldn't the whole wall just collapse? Well, it's not that thin. <laughs> Have you seen this guy crawling through your window? I've heard it. Well, I've heard noises, you know what I mean? And, and now you're at the point you don't even let Missy cook for you, right? Yeah, and I, I don't trust her anymore, no. Why don't you let her cook for you? Because I think she's doing stuff to it, you know? She's spitting in it because I had a drink. I had a drink on my counter. I just took a sip of it. I put it back down. I go to the bathroom. I come back. I take a sip off it and, like, slime down in my throat, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay, if you're at the point where you don't trust your girlfriend, you think she's spitting in your food, you know, people are crawling through your windows, why stay with somebody like that? Because... Because I know once I do break up with her and leave her, yeah, it'll be all right for a few days, and then I'm going to be all sad and depressed and not want to do nothing and stay inside and not do nothing, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to ask you a question I want you to ask honestly, right? How much pot do you smoke? I don't know, I smoke like a bowl. A bowl of day, maybe. Well, Hold on, hold on. How, how much do you smoke? Just like a bowl once in a while. A bowl? Yeah, ain't gonna lie to you. Marijuana can cause paranoia. Yeah. No, nah, man, I'm paranoid, and it's not, it's not the real. You're not paranoid. Well, no, I am a little paranoid <laughs> about things, but it's not the weed doing it. Right. So let me ask you another question. Do you cheat on your girlfriend? I, I cheated on her one time. That's just, it. Just once? Just one time, because I suspected her cheating on me because of the way she was treating me, you know? Do you cheat on her? No. Are guys climbing through the window? No. I know for a fact that you cheated on me with my neighbors. She's talking to him through the walls. Yeah, yeah, I can hear him. Your neighbor Mike is here. He's going to come through this window right here. Do you cheat on her? No. Are guys climbing through the window? No. I know for a fact that you cheated on me with my neighbors. Listen, it sounds like a crazy story, okay? And I think if you cut back on the marijuana use, you might not be so paranoid. Because little tree limbs behind a, a tire, you know, set keys a certain way, if you have to live that way, it's if it gets it. to that point, it's not worth it, man. No, I hear you. Um, now, she took a lie detector test, and obviously she passes. Will that cure some of this paranoia? That would help. That would help. And if she fails, what would you do? 
What would I do? Yeah. I'd probably be really pissed off. Well, yeah, I know you'd be pissed off, but would you finally break up with her? Yes, definitely. 100%. And then maybe go back and put some uh, insulation and some drywall over your walls. Right. Let's bring out Missy. I'm sick and tired. Whatever, I know I'm for a fact that you cheated on me. And Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where is it, Danny? We're going to have proof as soon as You're stuff right, goes down, all right? You're right, we're going to have proof. Proof I know that, that you, that you, you are were with, wrong. You were with one of my best friends. N now you're with my neighbors. Have you caught me going out in the middle of the house? Have I not yes, been by your side Missy, the whole time? Yes, Missy, people were right outside trying to pick you up in the middle of the night. And who was there? He, Mike. Did and he's he, the only one that was alone, right? Diddy, he, Mike sat there and told you that he was getting no. picked up by his friends. He's your friend. He's not my friend. Let me, let me take over from here. Do you cheat on him? No. Do you spit in his food? No. Are guys climbing through the window? No. Do you engage in sex on the living room floor with other men besides your no. boyfriend? No. Did you put the t-shirt in the bedroom that said, what did it say? You bet your sweet no. ass. No. You love him? I do. And it's got to be tough being constantly accused of cheating. Mm -hmm. How did you notice that he was putting twigs behind your car tire? Because he would come up to me, he's like, why is the stick move? <laughs> I'm like, well, I didn't touch the stick. The keys were like this, and now they're like this. I didn't even know where the keys were. You ever have sex with the neighbor? Never. Never? Ever fantasize about him? No. Okay. You were the one telling me when he um, moved in, oh, he's cute. Yeah, when he I, came in, I, I, go I from said, that oh, he's, he's ugly, he's I, this, I he's that. I don't that. think I ever said that he's cute. It doesn't well, matter. I honestly don't think I ever said Listen, he's cute. I said, he's but a you nice know what? guy. I think a couple should say, oh, he's cute, they're cute. You make games he, like... Because you're right, because he tells me every day how everybody oh, else oh, yeah, in the world is better looking Oh, yeah, that's the man right there. Me. That's the man's uh, body style I want right there. That's the same guy right there. Oh, he's cute. That's what you're saying, okay. and then you're acting um, like... You're not spitting in his food, right? No. Because that's pretty disgusting. That is disgusting. And he'll make me... That's the way she is. I don't even eat anything He'll make me eat the food. Would make me try it before he'll even try it just to ensure that I'm not doing it. Okay, so she's eating. <laughs> oh and then he God, says, oh, I guess trust. it does, doesn't yeah, matter that you eat your own spit. Anymore. So if she, it's the right. if she eats her the food that you want her to taste, and I, are you okay with it then? Well, she eats at least half of it, I am. Your neighbor Mike is here. Let's see. <laughs> he's going he's to come through this window right here. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. What, Mike? What are you trying to say something to me, man? Yeah, I'm sick and tired. Are you okay. saying that I'm cheating? Dude, I'll I'm straight I'm up right girl, man. man. No, no, I don't no, even no, care, no. man. I'm well, you. Don't you say that, man. Don't swear. Don't swear. supposed yeah, to be okay, my boy. I go over there, pop lunch with you. This is how you Stop act, man. Yeah. No. You're getting into more than weed, man. Something. Yeah, all right. He's talking to him through the walls. Yeah, yeah, I can hear a man's voice compared to a girl's voice. I've never seen a dude act like that before. Dad, you got to realize you've got the problem. No, I don't have the yes, problem. Yes, you do. Let's get to the results. Yeah. He's talking to him you know what I mean? through the walls. Yeah, yeah, I can hear a man's voice compared to a girl's voice. So I got to ask you, Mike. Uh, yeah. Do you climb through the window? No, I don't climb through the window. I stay in my house. And He's on the computer all, all the time trying to get me. at me. Come over when you need I don't something. talk to him, you know what I mean? I don't need to talk to him every so two seconds. So you're not seconds. sleeping with his no, girlfriend? No, I'm not sleeping with his girl. You're no. not creeping He's supposed in. to be my friend, you know what I mean? But he acts all crazy, like I'm sleeping with uh, her. Why do you think he acts this crazy? I have no idea, Could really. it be the pot? Uh, I think it's something else, but I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's cheating on her, maybe he, I don't know, you know what I mean? That's I don't know. Right. I don't Do you know. think he's cheating on I've you? I've never seen a dude act like that before. No, you don't think he's... I was heartbroken when he did the first time. And, so, and she's always crying. Uh, because that caused you so much pain, you don't think he would do that again? Um, I like Missy as a friend, she's cool, you know what I mean? But I can't even really talk to her because like... Danny thinks I'm...
You know what I mean? Dude, it, there's been th there's been like three different times I've heard his voice outside of my house. You know, and I'm not stupid. And man. she's in the house talking to him. You know what I mean? Through the walls. Yeah, yeah, I can hear a man's voice compared to a girl's voice. You know what I mean? I, mean, I can hear her whispering, and I know her voice in a whisper. You know what I mean? He was just texting her the other day. I was giving neighbors. him a ride somewhere. It doesn't they're matter. I, 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 I wasn't texting her. No. I wasn't texting him. I was not texting her, Steve. Listen, even if you did, she's your neighbor. He's your buddy. Yeah, you I thought, you know, I, I like the kid. That's he's a good code, kid, right? but That's he the just, guy yeah, code, right? I wouldn't do that. You know I'm just embarrassed. He's obviously making himself look like he's crazy, and I don't want to do that to him. No, listen. I didn't want to make him look like he was crazy. Who called the show? Me. Okay. You called the show because you're tired of this, right? I am. I can't and you, sleep. And uh, you're willing to take a lie detector test to prove to him that mm -hmm. you're not doing this. Yeah. And if you pass and he doesn't change. Oh, I can't live like it. I can't. I'm going to be starting school. I want to make something on myself. And for me staying home. Yeah. Me staying home with you. And, you, and might, you know what? You might have to put your foot down about the pot usage. Yeah. You might have to say, if you want to be with me, you got to stop smoking pop because he did, it's making he, you too paranoid. And, and that's the thing is I, I know he, he loves me because he's, he's done a lot to change. Like, he used to drink every day. He, he stopped drinking for me. He, he got a job, and he was, you know, doing what he could do and to prove to me he, he loved me. Let's get to the results. Yeah. <laughs> no love. You know what I mean? I was like, no. I'm the one who's not getting Missy love took here. a lie detector test. And she was asked, are you currently cheating on Danny? She answered, no. Have you ever had sexual contact with Mike? She answered, no. Have you ever had sexual contact with another man while in a relationship with Danny? She said, no. Have you ever tampered with Danny's food or drink? She answered, no. And the results for your lie detector tests. And they're all the same. They came back all the same way. We all know. I told the truth. <laughs> you told the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Then how, then how, how can you explain, then how can you explain why you're showing up? Things, oh, things happened. Things just happened Two like that. Years, you well, put me through hell and you're I'm worried about something. I'm moving out of that place because it's haunted to it's everywhere. <laughs> because Dan, you got I don't realize. care. You got no, I don't have the Yes, problem. you do. And I tell you one time, one more accuse of, of saying that I'm a cheater, calling me names. I am so done. I don't even believe you, and I still don't believe it. I still don't believe it. I know okay. it's true. It's got to be true. Okay. But I don't believe it. Um, well, I know it's true, man. It's just that she lies about you anything. Say to Mike? Mike, I just want to say sorry. Yeah. If yeah. Legit, yeah. then. I don't get it. I don't get it. She well, passed. Hold on. Stop. stop. You, you, oh, Mike, I'm sorry. Her, you're like, no, I don't believe it. And what about this and that? It's just been so much lies and so much you know stuff what? I've went You're going to end up hurt and depressed like you said you're going to be. That's what's going to happen I already here. am, so it doesn't well, matter. Her, her. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. You know? Beat so you know what I would enough. say? I would say he's saying, well, it doesn't matter. Basically, his reaction is you took the lie detector twice, right? Yeah. So basically, she took the lie detector twice. She passed both times. And basically, he's saying, I don't care. No, that's I do a, care. No, I, you don't. I, no, you don't. Because that's not the reaction of somebody who cares. And you can say whatever you want. You need to stop <laughs> smoking so much pot because it's screwing up your head. Oh, oh I didn't even know that. Here's a, a surprise. You no, took a lie detector no. twice. <laughs> want me to read his results. Yeah. Yeah. Other than the one female Missy already knows about, have you ever had sexual intercourse with other women during your relationship with Missy? The answer, no. Results for that question is, you were with him and pregnant when he made this tape. Yeah, naked chicks. I'm gonna prove that it's his child. And you said you're hoping you're not the father. Oh, God, I hope not. Took a DNA test, we're gonna find out. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with other women during your relationship with Missy? The answer, no. Results for that question is...
Are you currently cheating on Missy? He answered no. The results for that question is he told the truth. Other than the one female Missy already knows about, have you ever had sexual intercourse with other women during your relationship with Missy? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. <laughs> So I don't care what that paper says because it's not true. <laughs> um, have you ever tampered with Missy's food or drink? No. You answered no and you told the truth. Um, I don't know if you heard. We asked him if he ever tampered with your food or drink. Who did you cheat on me with, Missy? Did he? I did it. I, there's nobody no. else to even let know. Me, let me finish. Okay. Oh, I can't believe it. I want my Virginia. I've only been with him. But we only have like he this many people in there, man. He didn't tamper with your food or drink. And then Dan Rebikoff, who administers our lie detector test, his, sto uh, his notes for this test are: subject kept stating that he was nervous during the test. This is the common excuse for failing. Subject continued to leak deception as he asked if he passed the test on several occasions. He then stated twice, I should pass as I'm pretty sure I told the truth. All right, you're going to ask someone who's paranoid, supposedly, if they're nervous. So, you know what I mean? I have anxiety. Said that he had <laughs> and you're trying to ask me if I'm nervous. Like, well, but even nervousness sorry. or anxiety would not influence your test results. All right, whatever. So who was it? That, that same girl? The only person I can think about that it even was was back in the day when we first got together before anything even solid happened with us. That was okay. pretty much it. Uh, you know what? The truth of it is, who cares? I mean, I know well, you care because it. this is your relationship. But the thing is, you came here, you passed the test. Oh. This guy doesn't pass what about being honest about cheating on you. He's putting, you know, the neighbors through hell. He's putting you through hell. When do you finally say, you know what, enough's enough. Until you change, you can't be with me. You, you have destroyed my life. So you've destroyed my life. How? You freaking sucked you? every last penny right out of me, hey, bro. You know Now, I, I like you, Missy. I really do, and I think you've suffered enough. So here's the deal. We're gonna play pick a door here. Out that door is Mr. Pothead, who, who not only doesn't care that you passed the lie detector test, <laughs> that puts you through hell for two years, but he can't pass his own damn lie detector test, all right? And out this door is the Steve Wilco Show, me and my staff, we're going to help you get yourself back on your feet. If you want to say, hey, you know what? I deserve better for myself, and I think there's a guy out that door that's going to treat me a lot better. Yes. Go out that yeah, door. So the show's over. We're all curious. What are you going to do with your life? The, the reason why I came on the show was to And we gave to it him. to you. And we gave it to you. Yeah. yeah. And now what are you going to do with that? And then... If I feel as though I, and I'm being honest, that I, I, I want to see if he'll change. Then go out that door. I just want to say I'm sorry for everything, and I'm sorry for putting you through all this. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry for smoking all the pot, and I'm sorry for all everything. No, why didn't you tell me? Missy, uh, Missy, when? it was so long ago. The beginning of our relationship. That don't even matter and you're gonna anymore. Tell four me years now. ago you're gonna is four. Years ago. And, and if I would have done it two, four years ago, you would have done what? He walked out the door to be with you. What are you going to do with him? Well, probably she wants start to, to treat her right and do the right thing. Stop smoking, stop drink. Well, I didn't have a drink anyway, but stop it and try to move you on know, and but have I'm a good saying, life. I'm watching this, and who knows? Maybe he'll change. You want to see if he's going to change. There's nothing wrong with that. You've got a lot of time invested in the guy. But if you go back, and if, and if he still acts... I promise you, I, I promise you, Steve, I will leave. I promise you. Okay. I promise. I hope so. I Good promise. Luck. You were with him and pregnant when he made this tape. Yeah. Naked chicks. And you said you're hoping you're not the father. Oh, God, I hope not. You want to get, get smacked? Security. 
And you say you're hoping you're not the father. Oh, God, I hope not. You want to get, get smacked? Security. Tiffany, why are you here? I'm here today to prove to my ex, who's nothing but a lying, cheating little bum, that he's the father of my son, and he needs to step up and do what he has to do, or he can go on somewhere, because I'm done with it. He doesn't believe that uh, your child is his. Uh, does he think you were cheating on him, or? According to him, he thinks I was prostituting. But he's the one that left me when I was six months pregnant to go live with his ex-girlfriend in another state. Why does he think you were prostituting? I don't know. He makes up stuff in his head. Like, he lives in a different world than everybody else. He's um, not right. Were you prostituting? No, I wasn't. Okay. Never been arrested for it? No. Okay. I've never been arrested in my life, let alone prostitution. Have you ever prostituted? No, I haven't. All right, so you have the baby, and, you're in, and you tell him you're pregnant. Uh, five months go by, and now you're five months pregnant. Things are wonderful? Yeah. He's happy, you're happy? Mm hmm And then six months, he goes, hey, I got a chick that's not pregnant. No, he said that he had nowhere to live, so he decided he would move four states away Was from he living me with to you? live with his ex. Yes, but I couldn't have him living where I was living. Okay, so... He said, well, I don't got a place to live. I'm going to go live with the next four, four states, states away. away from me with his ex-girlfriend and try to convince me they weren't doing anything because I'm just that stupid, right? No. How did you find out he was cheating on you? I looked at his Facebook, and it said, check out my YouTube videos. He told the whole world, check out his videos. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to look at your videos. Get on there. It's videos of naked chicks. Like, are you that stupid, really? With him with naked with chicks? Him, yes, he's rubbing all over them, talking to them. They're and naked you, in his you house, sleeping. you provided us uh, a copy of the tape. Oh, yeah. Well, well, let's take a look. Go ahead. That, that thing over there, that little thing sleeping on that couch, right there, Christy, just passed the up. That's right. Now, let me go back here. You got this. Yeah. Cool. She all right. Oh, yeah. That's my life. That's how it goes. It's a real boss. Holla at me. Yeah. This goes on on a 24-7 daily basis. So. It's a real pimp. Pimp. No, you're not. You were with him at pregnant when he made this tape. Yeah, he was in a different state. We were supposed I mean, to be together. I was just, six months pregnant. He just pregnant. rubbed her butt a little bit. No, no, no. I don't care what he did. If I'm with you and I'm pregnant by you, you shouldn't even be touching another female, thinking about touching nothing. How old is your child now? He's, he will be three months, and he ain't seen him not one damn time. Ain't even bought him a pack of Pampers. And um, we took a DNA test. Yeah, isn't he beautiful? He yeah, is a beautiful little boy. Thank you. Um, and so he's, he's never held him, never seen him? Nope. Never bought him anything? Nope. He'd rather call me and accuse me of doing stuff with other guys than call me and say, hey, how's my son soon? Do you still love this guy? Yeah, I still love him. Would you, if he came on there and said... I'm dumping the other girl to be with you. Would you take him back? Oh, no. He's a bum. No. He's I got kids to raise. I can't be raising another one. You ain't got no job. You ain't got nowhere to live. You don't do nothing with your life. You sit around and get drunk all day long. You're disrespectful. You cheated on me and everything. Of course I love him. I gave him a child. Of course I love him. But am I going to be with you? No. Am I in love with you? No. I did love you, but I'm not going to be with you. So what are you hoping happens today? Today, I'm going to prove that it's his child, and he can either step up and do what he has to do, or he can just sign his rights over, and I'll leave him alone, because I don't want nothing to do with him, but he can either have something to do with my son, or he can go on somewhere. It's done. It's, right. I'm set Let's up. Let's bring out your former boyfriend, oh, Nick. Oh, really? Hey, Miss Piggy, shut up. Excuse Listen me? To me. Shut right, up. Shut up. Right. This I'm girl, what? I put I'm Miss this Piggy. Girl out there to make Hold up. Money. I'm She's Miss Piggy, but you people. was calling me last I'm night, talking. right? Shut up. Want Grown me to come chill talking. with you? Shut up. You Listen. ain't a man. Listen. You ain't Wait, got no Hold job. On. You don't Stop. take Stop. care you of your kids. You ain't got no job. You ain't got your Hold kid, dude, get out Stop. of here. Stop. You gave me every single dime you hey, ever Nick, made. Nick, I put you out there Nick. to make the money. What are you, you talking a bum. about? Nick. Oh, because I'm a bum. Nick. So I thought you were a prostitute, though. Nick. I'm not a prostitute. Stop. Stop for one second. Come on. Nick. Man. Yeah. Listen, I mean, you know. Hi, Steve. How's How you doing? doing? <laughs> um, put my videos this on there. 
Are you serious? For real, Yeah, I'm dog? serious. Next. What was you doing while Can I was pregnant? Focus for two okay. seconds, okay? She could possibly be the mother of your child, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you have some thoughts, but you took a DNA test, and we're going to find out. But you're calling her names, insulting her. She calls me a bum. I mean, yeah. Because you ain't got no saying, job, and you don't take care of your kids. Saying. That's what a bum is. Did you have sexual intercourse with anyone besides Nick around the time you got pregnant with your son? You answered no, and the results are... Did you have sexual intercourse with anyone besides Nick around the time you got pregnant with your son? You answered no, and the results are... I, I would assume that if this child is yours, that you'd want to be. Oh, I'm going to be there. You'd oh, want to yeah, be a dad. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking okay. custody of my son. I, I just say, no. I can look at you, and I'm not saying this in a mean way, but you're immature. You know what I mean? You're 21 years old. And... <laughs> so I guess what I'm saying is, is a child enough to motivate you to become, you know, act more like a man? Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. it will. Yeah. It will. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that she was prostituting? Are you serious? I put her out there to do it. I was the one. You know, you stop, 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 stop. Why would you do that? I, I'm a bum. I needed money. Okay. <laughs> right? You know what? If it's true, and I don't right? know if I believe it so much, okay. and I got to be honest, but if you did and you're being serious, then I got to say, you know, that's probably one of the worst. No, you know, it's up there. It's in the top five worst oh, things you yeah. could do to a female. Oh, you know yeah, what I you're mean? right about that, yeah. Okay. You're right, I understand. So did yeah. you really do that? Yeah. I'm not lying to you. No. I'll, I'm not lying to you. Why man. would you put a woman in that position? I don't know. You're right about that. I, I it's, have no it, You know what? It's disgusting. It's not funny. Um, no, it's not. Because I'll say this. When I was a Chicago policeman and I saw all these women work in the streets, their lives are, are destroyed. They become shells of what they were. Yeah. They get raped beaten, robbed, um, they lose every sense of who they are. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you ever seen that in a woman? No. Okay, then you don't understand what I'm saying. Because only but... you could understand if you saw that, if you looked in these eyes and you said, you know, I wonder what their parents are thinking right now. Are they looking for their child? Their, their little girl that's destroyed now, that will go with anybody for any amount of money. If you understood that, you would never send a woman out there. She was doing it before I ever, ever met her. She says she was doing she's it saying she never did her. it. So who's lying here? You, you, who dropped you off to, when you first met me? Just because I go with somebody doesn't mean I'm prostitute. Yeah. All right. What do you mean go with somebody? Yeah. I go out to eat with, with somebody and I'm prostituting. <laughs> and then there's a text. You Eat a meal and then have sex with them? No. Okay. They have sex with them, period. Who dropped you off to meet Somebody me? Somebody had who to feed me because you, off for the you first... sure enough hey, hey, wasn't. Hey, uh, who? don't swear. I'm sorry. See? Listen, you know, I hear two people, uh, you know, you're pretty insulting and you're very insulting, but who, who who's going to be the role model here for your yeah. child? Yeah. I am because I'm the one raising him. But you ain't you, doing you know nothing what? but stealing liquor with yet. your girlfriend from Walmart. Why don't you steal? just concentrate on being a good mother? Yeah. I am Instead a good mother. Instead of, hold on, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. There's more. Wait, there's more. What happened when, um, pay, pay this for your son, pay this? What about child support? How come you didn't show up to your child support? I told you I didn't have a way to get there. You didn't have a way to get there. And you, you told went to me show with your you wasn't going to get give me the DNA there. anyways. You told me you weren't going to give me the DNA case, anyways. She even and I would have got case. it done when he was do first born if he was here. Yeah, I love her. If, you do love her. Not like I'm not in love with her. I want to be with her ever again. You know what I'm saying? We spend time together. I spend but you time don't want to be with me, but you invited me to your hotel last night, right? Did I? Yeah. Oh, you did? Prove it. Prove it. I got the. Okay, can we bring my cell phone out here? Because I got the. Please, be quiet. Everybody, stop. Listen. I can't even talk. Please, Nick. 
Nick, Nick, I'm asking you. Please be I'm, quiet. I'm Please good. be quiet. Do you have anything that you want to add? The reason I'm here is because the whole time she was pregnant, when you left her to go stay in Michigan with your little girlfriend, your little ex-girlfriend, I took care of her. I took her to her doctor's appointments. I bought her stuff for her baby. I fed her. I paid the, I paid the bills that's in the house that she lived in. Now, you weren't having sex, were you? No. Okay. No, you I just took care of her and everything about her, her doctor's appointments, everything. You guys are good friends. Yeah, and I've been friends with her since I was eight years old. So, what do, you, what do you think? Like, he's wrong for denying the baby? He, he's a lame. Like, what are you doing in life? What are you doing? You're a stripper. I'm what, a stripper. What? what? Oh, yeah. I, what? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. a stripper. Guess what? I make more one night than you. I make more one Surprising. night than you. She's a stripper. Surprise. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for helping your friend out through mm -hmm. her pregnancy, yeah. helping her out. That's I just great being a friend. You can have a seat. Thank okay, you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Yeah. Oh, my YouTube videos on oh, TV. Oh, yeah. You we Tiffany, you know. came here and you took a lie detector. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what we asked you, but we're about to find out. You asked me if I was a prostitute. I guess about prostitute. Um, while in a relationship with Nick, did you ever prostitute? You answered no. Um, you did not tell the truth. <gasps> Bowling, bro! I told you, bro! You want a cookie? You Bowling, want a cookie? Bro! Security. You better back up. Balling. Oh, you see that jumper? And you said you're hoping you're not the father. God, I hope not. All right. God, I pray not. If you need private, discreet DNA paternity testing, call DNA Diagnostic Center at 1-877-DNA-CENTER. Okay, so will you admit that you did prostitute? <laughs> oh, now we Sure, whatever. Ah! <laughs> sure, whatever. Sorry. But I was um, lying, guys. Hold on. Sorry. If you have a little son, is this the way you want to act? Pull up the no. picture. Okay. He looks different. No. All right. Pull up the picture. But if you were a prostitute, it could be anyone's, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, like... I, I mean, you failed. Not when I got pregnant and it wasn't even prostitute. There you go. Did you have sexual intercourse with anyone besides Nick around the time you got pregnant with your son? You answered no, and the results are you did not tell the truth. Oh. Wow! We're done. Oh. No, we don't talk so, to and it was You want a cookie? Balling. It was It was You want a cookie? I don't care who. I'm no. balling. I'm going to take a show. Of, hold on, hold on. A show of hands. Does anybody care? No. I don't. I did. Because to me, this just seems like two knuckleheads that got together that they really don't care who they sleep with. They don't think about the consequences of what happens when you have sex. And then you act like a total moron to each other after the baby's born. Please, God. But. This one matters. This That's this is the matters. only thing yeah, that matters. Yeah, because right. the little boy involved in this story, I mean, he's... Look at him. He looks just you like this, you. This, Are you... Look at him. You know what the shame of it is? How old is he? He's three months. He's three months old, and he's already a victim. I oh, know. He's a victim. And you said you're hoping you're not the father. Oh, God, I hope not. All right. God, I pray not. Well, you got something to look forward to on Father's Day. You are the father. Thank you. Give me my money. Me, huh? Give me my money. Me, you need to give me my money. You need to give me my money my and step up or sign your rights I'll over. You, Be a man, okay? Step up, get a job. It don't matter Shabaka, what I get. I take care out. of your son. You ain't did. The sad thing is there's a little boy, and I don't, I don't think either one of you, and prove me wrong, I hope, mm -hmm. but I don't think either one of you are going to grow up and be a good a parent to this child. That's my fourth. I got three other ones. Where are they? Where are they? Huh? They're not with you. Um, no, they're not I with am you. a good mom. They're not I with am you. a good mom. They're not with you. Again, prove me wrong. They're not with her. But I, I would love to update this story okay. only for your little boy. I'd like to Go have ahead. him on stage in a few years, talk to him. But the two of you, I just don't care. All That's right. fine. Goodbye, both of you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you,
Connected body and mind 